So my name is Rege, or English people call me anything from Ricky to Rachel because they can't pronounce that. I was born in Denmark, but I've lived in England since I was 13. Currently, I just finished my third year of my physics degree and going into my fourth, which will be the final year of my master's. So when I was younger, the reason was that I felt physics was the subject that explained the most things about how things work in nature and when you're walking along in the street and you're wondering why is that hanging like that and why does that bend like that and I thought I had a lot of questions and I felt physics was the best subject to answer them. Since then I've become much more interested in things like surfaces and materials and now that's my main drive. So I was very much divided between art and physics at some point. Um, so at the end of my GCSEs I, it was clear that I could take the art path and I was, I was good at it and I really enjoyed it but at the end of the day I did find that even though physics was the scarier option <laughs> and probably the more challenging one that I felt that I should really in terms of how I could challenge you know my brain and and really get the most out of it then physics was the way to go and art was the thing to have on the side I still really enjoy it but I don't I, I'm really happy I made that choice when I was really young, I wanted to be everything from an actor to a waitress to a person who makes boiled sweets. <laughs> but now I am still very certain that I want to continue with physics and research. My master's degree is physics with nanoscience. When I started out, it was just plain physics. But within the first year, I realized that I wanted to specialize in nanoscience. And ever since then, I've done several things to pursue that further. So in my third year, I was in Lund University in Sweden, where I, amongst other things, carried out a project on nanowire growth. And I did some specialised modules in things like semiconductor physics and thermodynamics, <laughs> complicated stuff. And now I'm doing an internship at Nottingham for four weeks on STM imaging, which is also related to nano. STM is <laughs> short for scanning tunneling microscopy and it's basically an imaging technique at the nanoscale where instead of using light like with optical microscopes you use the tunneling current from electrons and that's a special property that electrons have that they can do this thing where the current is not directly flowing through something but basically they do this cool thing where they can jump through space onto the tip that you're holding over your sample and that can help you map out the surface structure so you can actually resolve atoms on a surface. When I did uh, the studying abroad for a year, so it's through this program called University Wide Exchange. It's sort of you go to these conferences and learn about different universities abroad and then you choose one depending on your studies and of course where you want to go and it was a big challenge once I got there to actually adapt to the new environment, the new culture and the new system. But it was also, I think, things that are very challenging are also the most rewarding. I would say don't worry so much about learning every little detail, but focus on the things that you're interested in and that will still get you a long way and you'll do well if you do that. I've always loved running. And while I lived in Sweden, I actually took up that more. So now I run a lot and I'm going to do the Robin Hood half marathon in <laughs> Nottingham. So that's going to be an interesting experience. I'm really looking forward to it. Do it. <laughs> if you want to go somewhere where it's not always stressful and competitive, but the people support each other and there's a lot of room for differences and room for different interests, Nottingham is the, and if you like nature, <laughs> Nottingham is a great place. Well, actually, I've been considering this back and forth a lot over the past couple of years, and I was really much doubting whether to go straight out and, and get a job or continue and, and do a PhD straight away. And what I found in my second year was that I thought the um, pressure and, and the sort of strength required to keep studying and feeling like you're always working or always studying even when you go home from university you're still feeling like you're studying 
I felt I couldn't kept continue to deal with that, but I've actually learned to approach that differently and seeing it more as work than as my whole life. And that's made me realize, actually, I do want to do a PhD <laughs> in spite of everything else. And, and I would definitely also recommend for people who aren't sure about that, you know, wait and see, to see what happens because I've gone literally changed my opinion to the opposite in a year. And um, it's, of course, it's good to go out and get experience in, in the different areas as well. But if you can't do that, just take it, you know, be calm and, and just see what happens.